Fans gave us pirate swords and they're completely real. Oh my God. And everyone's too scared to play with me because they think something bad's gonna happen. When in reality, this is like dulled. I'll never back down from fights. You backed down like 20 times. I don't know what you're talking about, Malcolm. No. Duel me or die. If a fight's a fight. It calls for one song and one song only. So they're going to good use. The one we're after. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. If we didn't do YouTube, we would actually be able to work at Disney World so easily. Guys, I expect 20 blowjobs for fixing the TV. Bro, if you fix it, cut everything. Fuck! Fuck! How did that happen? Captain says you've been missing from the ship. Says you've been at a debt with David Jones. We gotta do what we gotta do to survive, mate. Shit's rough out here in the Caribbean. And what in the bloody hell do you think you're doing over here by the Vegas? Dude, we all have good fire voices. Ah, why I be ready to eat ye burger? <laughs> Bro, if this hot wax gets on me, you know, it blows my mind that people have hot wax kinks. Like, how does a girl take this? You wanna try? Fuck it, should we? Hey, what? Ah! Well, oh. would that be nice? Oh. Like, if you were a girl and I was fucking you and I put some on you? Honestly, maybe. The day has come, ladies and gentlemen. I promised it six months ago, and I've been saying it ever since. I'm putting my Spotify playlist out to the public. You guys always ask, oh, Balin, you have the best music taste. I want to see your playlists. And here we are. So I'm shooting cover photos for each playlist because I got to really make them nice. And right now we're doing the one for my Teeny Bopper playlist, which is, you know, my Kesha, my Natasha Bedingfield, my Ellie Golding, shit like that, you know? Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. All right, let's get this goddamn picture. I need to put these playlists out. It's been too long. I'll put the link to all my playlists in the description or just look up Ben Levine on Spotify. All right, literally right here. Let's do it. The final playlist shall be connected. How do girls sit? With vaginas out. Okay, I'm not a slut. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I got it. I took a fucked up. Alright, we got my teeny bopper playlist, of course. My yachty playlist. That one's been the most requested. My funny playlist, you know, shit you connect to speakers and Best Buy with. My feels playlist. My 80s playlist, the Johnny Lawrence shit. My favorite songs of all time playlist. And my Lil Peach playlist. So, enjoy. You are now entering my world. Bro, my favorite food in the world is seafood. And none of these fuckers get it with me ever. So when we finally go, I overdo it every time. Baron, jump in right now. Right now. Right now. Go, 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 go. Every body of water Baron jumps in. Right now, go, 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 go. I didn't even know he was gonna do it. Round of applause, clap, clap. Yeah. Do it naked, she says. One more time. I didn't get it the first time. Can you do it again? Oh, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> could I get shrimp mussels? Then could I get oysters? Then could I get clam chowder? You want six or twelve oysters? Twelve. Twelve. I guess I have to. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? Get, um, a cheeseburger. Lame. Lame. Can I try right. an oyster. You're gonna throw up. This nah. kid literally only eats cheeseburgers and chicken tenders. Like, he will not touch vegetables. Anything different, he won't eat. There's no way you like oysters, bro. It's slimy. I mean, be my guest, but try bro, it. I like clams. No, I fucking but love oysters. But you don't oysters. like pussy. You don't like pussy. I love pussy. You've what never eaten pussy. You what? You've never eaten pussy. Okay, I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Who's just the first virgin, sober, no tattooed rapper? It's not like he wants to get pussy but can't get it. Now he purposely says no and genuinely is trying to wait till marriage, which I think is great, you know? Do what makes you happy, do what keeps you healthy. I preach in a different way. I preach when you're ready and when you're in love. I don't think you should go around throwing around the V card. Oh. Look at that, we have fucking boats ready for us. These beautiful fans came and are letting us tube. Picked us right up from lunch. Sup, gentlemen? So I just ate a shit ton of seafood. I probably smell like Davy Jones. Bro, this is actually real life Outer Banks. I'm the real life John B, bitch. Why this bitch so obsessed with taking island trips? Same reason I'm so obsessed with making money flip. I'm gonna see if she fucking in that 
bounce off the rim. I'm gonna see how she's sucking, I might leave a tip. I'm back on my manager shit. We're about to film a snippet for Paige. I'm the world's greatest fucking snippet creator ever. Give me my credit. You do have a good vision. And respect. So, he's gonna do a snippet with frozen yogurt. It's all about building an image, dude. Tell me this shit is not the most attractive thing you've ever seen. All right. This is what summer looks like. Tell me that's not a cup of happiness. Thanks, bro. My dad was on YouTube. It was the chicken wings guy at Walmart. He was wearing a bucket hat. He got on the shopping cart. Oh, he was cool as fuck. Dude, he's freaking cracked out. Welcome to Walmart. It's the greatest place on earth. Oh, yeah. Walmart, baby, what up? And they had a chicken wing. Fuck. He's gonna, he's gonna... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, you know what time it is, Dizzy. Shit. Safety first, safety first. God damn it. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> this was supposed to be cool. <laughs> Boom. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Free who? Free my brother out of jail, he ain't do shit. Now they gotta sit with a man made ice cream. Sent my sister to the farm to say I'm sick. And we just riding that new time like I'm out sick. I can't just come for anybody, bitch, I'm biased. I can't just sleep in any kind, I need the highest floor. I can't fuck you anymore, bitch, I am so sore. Broke your back four times tonight, go sleep, Lord. It's Yachty's birthday, so we're only playing Yachty. Everyone's banned from playing anything else today. We've celebrated Yachty Day pretty damn well. I think we've fucking listened to him since we woke up. And we're not stopping. <laughs> Us. Give me the keys to the coupe and pull out. Gotta wear cuttings cause I don't know pull out. Who is it? Who is it? No, who is it? It's us. It's us. They know it's us. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do Yo, about I this. Fuck. Do we have anything else pretty? Oh, I can eat cookie dough out of the tub. Rip the fucking ice cream, dude. Yo, we're gonna have to make do. God damn it, that was such a pretty creation too. I know what to do. He's literally branding himself as a fat ass. Eat healthy though. That's so funny. Excuse my voice, can you maybe hop out the shop? What the fuck are you filming? I'm shooting the snippet in here. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, he ruins every shot. Bro, no every fucking said. time. <laughs> Good start, action! He actually walking through with like financial papers. <laughs> <laughs> take two, take two. Who the fuck is calling me, bro? Hi, my name is Jason, calling you from Energy Advocates. Suck How a dick, Jason. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What I would like to do is tell Oh, it's a computer. A Suck a dick, Jason. Program. Fuck you, Jason. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. I don't know what to do, but I feel like I got some clues. Got some dreams that I gotta pursue. It's a new life, I feel brand new. My heart get cold, someone please don't Who the fuck is calling me? Hello, can I please speak to Darius? Darius? Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm gonna keep it 100% with you guys, okay? This isn't Darius. Okay. Do For the past six person? months, I've been getting texted as Darius, and I'm here to say it finally on the phone. I am not Darius. I do not know a Darius. I have not talked to a Darius. I am not Darius. And quick question. Is it possible to get Darius available through this phone? Number. Actually, you know what? I think Darius is right here, matter of fact. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's Darius. What's up? Am I speaking to Darius? Yeah! The main reason of my call is to let you know that your PayPal is showing a negative balance of $29.55. And we're calling to check Bro, it's like his PayPal shit. Uh, actually, this is not Darius. This is Darthius. I think you got the wrong number, I Captain. Now, when I mentioned the name, you mentioned that you were Darius. I thought you said Darthius. Darius. No, no, no. This is Darthius. By any chance, do you know anyone named Darius? No, I do not. Actually, let me give you back to my friend. Hey, man. Um, Just want to let you know this is not Darius. For the past six months, I have been proclaimed Darius somehow, but you can unsubscribe me from whatever college classes Darius is enrolled in on this number because so by any chance can we can we contact Darius through this phone number no it's the wrong number then right i think so okay thank you very much all right sorry for the number troubles number. man have a nice night bro these motherfuckers it's such a meme they always hit me up as darius like it's been going on for so long and i respond like i'm not actually mad i'm just fucking around i respond in the funniest way like i'll be like eat a fucking dick i'm not darius and they're like I wish you wouldn't talk to me like that, Darius. And I'm like, dude, oh my fucking God. I changed my number so I would stop getting random texts. And then as soon as I changed it, fucking this college class semester shit. 
thinks I'm Darius. I'll put a thread of all the texts, they're so funny. All right, I think this is good. Yo, sh I'm not fucking Darius, bro. Yo, Darius. Dude, I just gotta start using Darius as one of my prank names. Can I speak Darius? Dude, Who's I Darius? I don't fucking know. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> is Darius here? How did he not get the fucking hint? I'm like, dude, I don't know Darius. So could you put me in contact with Darius? Darius. It was not a fucking hint, bro. Darius is only a meme on my Instagram because I've only put the text threads on my Instagram story, but people fucking love it. I've never put it in a video, so now you guys know. Darius. I'm not fucking Darius. Stop. God damn calling me Darius. If you text my phone one more time as Darius, I'm gonna fucking kick your ass. Hello everyone, Dale Levine here. And you know, every so often I like to sit down and I like to talk to you guys because it's probably the most important thing to me with all of this is being able to be a positive influence and being able to share my knowledge with you guys and my experience. And we've just built this amazing community of positivity and love. I see a lot of other fan bases and stuff and it makes me so grateful for mine because every time I meet one of you, it's always so awesome and so kind and just so genuine. And that means the world to me, man. I think that has to do with a lot that I've kept it 100% with you guys. You guys know who I am. And this is why I like doing this stuff is every now and then. I don't think I've done it since like a year ago. And I like to check in and, and really just tell you guys what's going on. Last time I did this, I was sleeping on a floor in Miami. And here we are in a fucking home. I live with all my best friends. Life has changed even more since then and only will continue to do so. I'm going on tour in November. And it's all just crazy, man. And I'm really just trying to learn it all. And there was no video this week either because I've kind of just been in my head a lot. I've been thinking a lot about things. There's just a lot of new stresses and a lot of new things going on in my life that I'm learning how to deal with. I take care of these people in my house. You know, my parents work for me now. It's much bigger than it was. There's, you know, two million eyes on me. It is my everyday goal to make sure everyone's good. You know, to make sure everyone in my life is good and to make sure I'm putting good out into the world. And I always say there's three things that kind of mold a kid's mind and shape them. I would say that's parents, friends, and a hero. Luckily, I was blessed with all three. My dad's always been a terrific influence on me. My mom too, of course, but more in the sense of like, you know, guy to guy stuff. My dad was sober my whole life. And so I would see all the adults do it and he wouldn't. My dad has always been big on trust. My dad has always been big on good friend groups. Boom, that's one. Two, I've been blessed with amazing friends. We've always been big on morals and holding each other accountable to do the right thing. Like if someone's doing something that they shouldn't, if we see someone going down a path, we fucking talk to one another and we help each other grow. We're always there for each other. They would never lie to me, I would never lie to them. Number three, I was blessed with good idols growing up. Of course, shout out to Bo. Seeing him be so positive when I was in high school impacted me tremendously and has influenced me to do the same with you guys. Say some of you don't have the parents, right? Say some of you don't have a friend group. I want you to know at least at the end of the day, you always have me. And I want you guys to know that in your hearts forever. You always have me, always. I may not physically be able to talk to you every second. I try to answer as many DMs. I try to respond to as many comments as possible. But I just want you guys to always have me as a role model and someone to look up to, you know? When shit gets dark, you fucking put on my videos or you fucking play this video and you listen to the words of advice I have to say. I wanna be there for you guys. And I've really done a good job, I would say myself, and I, and I always read the comments and I think you guys agree of fucking staying myself through all this because if you have a bad mindset and you go into fame we'll call it people tend to get lost you know people tend to grow egos people tend to surround themselves with yes men who aren't telling them when they're doing something wrong if they already have a bad habit it only increases because now you have money and they lose sight of what truly matters and don't appreciate the position they're in not a night goes by that i don't think about damn not too long ago this is all i ever wanted i feel the same as i did before all of this and I have good people around me. I have a good set of parents that tell me when I'm in the wrong. I don't get involved with all the bullshit. I stay away from all the bullshit. I really have the same hobbies I did in the beginning, you know? A good day to me is going out and having fun and watching a movie. I still don't club, I still don't drink, I still don't smoke, I never will. And there's things I'm learning. See, there's also things I'm learning too. Sorry, I'm talking about myself real quick, just so I can kind of catch you guys up on things, is you gotta be very careful in this life too because a lot of people aren't in it for you. So I've done a good job at weeding out only people that are genuine and only people that love me for me. And they are such good people. You know, everyone in my life is such good people. I've also learned about losing people. And I've learned 
that not everyone's your friend, you know? I spoke on it a little bit in my Instagram story, but I really wanna fucking let you guys know on camera too with my face there speaking. You know, a lot of you are starting up school at that time. Pick good friends. I can't stress that enough. One solid friend is better than a group of people because you are who you hang out with, whether you know it or not. You pick up mannerisms, you pick up habits, you pick up morals, you pick up everything. So you got good energy around you, you will put good energy out in the world. What you put out, you will receive too. And don't get involved in the bullshit, man. Once you start doing stuff, it's way harder to stop. And then if you are in that stuff, pull out, man, because nothing good is gonna come from it. If you know you shouldn't be somewhere, or you know you shouldn't be doing something, or you know you shouldn't be with somebody, chances are you shouldn't, you know? It may be cool and fun for a second, but in the long run, it's not gonna work out in your favor. And then also, don't get too wrapped up in the bad shit that happens. Everything that happens, happens for a reason, and your mistakes or bad things that happen oftentimes teach you so much, and you come out stronger and way more knowledgeable. You know, that girl or boy that broke up with you, that shit sucks, bro. And if you wanna get deeper, if you're truly in love and that shit, and heartbreaking, some of the most horrible pain. But you will learn so much, and in a few weeks, months, years, you'll be so thankful for that. Don't think it's the end of the world with that type of stuff, because it's not. You will get what you put out, you will get what you deserve, and everything will work out. Go through life as a good human being, and when you do fuck up, recognize it and adjust and change yourself. Do what is right, as corny as that sounds. A lot of people don't see it, like a lot of people are like, oh, but you cuss bail and you prank. Dude, that's just, you're being a kid, you're having fun. I'm talking about true wrong. You know, don't fuck someone over. Don't lie, don't backstab. You know, be, have a good, fucking heart. I feel like the true purpose of life is your happiness, making other people happy, and the relationships you build with people. At the end of the day, you can have all the money in the world, right? But if you don't have relationships with people, what is that? And I'm not, I'm talking about friendships, I'm talking about all types of relationships. That matters so much and, and doing good for the world and making people happy and your own happiness, you know? Do what makes you happy. Fucking half the shit is so cliche, but it's so real. And I promise you, man, this is big. If you push through, you will come out on top. You know, if you give up, you let that shit win. If the sadness gets to you, fuck bro, are you gonna let that shit take over you? No, if you push through in the end, you'll be very happy you did in all things in life. I could have quit so many times, I wouldn't be here, that's for sure. I could have let people's opinions stop me so many times, I wouldn't be here. Strive for fucking greatness, man. Don't let anyone tear you down, don't let anyone stop that. Work for what you want and just be smart, man. Be smart. A lot of people throw away opportunities. A lot of people keep negative people around they know they shouldn't. A lot of people do negative things they know they shouldn't be doing. And yeah, this is kind of out of nowhere, but I really just wanted to sit down and speak to you guys. I love that. It's so genuine and so raw to me. It's just me fucking talking right at you. So no matter what in life, you guys always got me and you guys can always look to my words. I hope this can help you guys. I hope this can better your life at the end of the day. I just want to make you guys happy and I just want to change the world. I love you guys more than anything. This is only going to go up. I promise you I'll never change. I promise you I'll always be bailing and I'll never switch up. I feel like I got some clues, got some dreams that I gotta pursue. This a new life, I feel brand new.